In this episode of North Central Idaho's Video Trails, enjoy the grapes and grain of the region's resurgent wineries and microbreweries. A century ago, vineyards and breweries were common in the border region of North Central Idaho and Eastern Washington, but with prohibition, these industries dried up. Today, wines and ales are again being crafted in the region and are making a splash with locals and visitors. Six wineries and three microbreweries allow for a multiple day tasting tour of the region. In Lewiston, Idaho, Clearwater Canyon Cellars is seeking to restore a lost winemaking tradition. 100 years ago, this area was the center of the wine industry in the Northwest. There were actually 80 acre vineyards in the LC Valley, believe it or not. And that's really our mission at Clearwater, is to make premium wines from local grapes. Once the grapes are harvested, we bring them down to the Port of Lewiston where our winery is located. That's where we crush the grapes, we ferment the grapes, we barrel age them down there, and when we have tasting events, it's right there at that location. We'd like to encourage people to go to our website and become part of our mailing list. Every year we've sent emails out to people on the list, notified them that we are having a, a tasting, an opening tasting event in September, and every year we've sold out by Christmas. Also in Lewiston at the Red Lion Hotel is MJ Barley Hoppers, the Lewis Clark Valley's first microbrewery. It's, it's a beautiful thing to be able to take raw material and turn it into beautiful glasses of joy for everybody. It's just really exciting to see the malts and grains turned into the end product and get to see the different types of beer, different flavors, aromas. He considers himself more of an artist than a, a brewer. And our beers pair very well with the food that we serve here at our, our restaurant, Meriwether's American Grill. We like to utilize some of our ingredients and use them in the breads that they use from our spent grain. One of our favorite things to do in the spring and summertime is to open up our deck. It's nice atmosphere to be able to look out over at the hills and the, and the river and have blues music playing. Traveling east of Lewiston near Julieta, Coulter's Creek Winery has revived a deserted vineyard, planted new vineyards, and constructed a winery and tasting room. We're pretty lucky because we get to start from the beginning. We get to start with the vines, um, which is a whole other aspect of winemaking, and combine it all into something we really love to drink and share with people. It would be somewhat unique around here at, at winery tasting here at the vineyard. You know, we really are focusing on a, being a sustainable operation. What water we are using, we're, most of it comes from solar pumping that we pump up to a high pond, and we can pretty much gravity feed out of there to the vines whenever they need it. At this point we plan on opening around the summer of 2010 to the public. North of the Lewis Clark Valley is the Palouse region where you can find the oldest winery in North Idaho, Camas Prairie Winery. In 1983 I started the winery and here we are 27 years later still having fun at it and hopefully it shows in the quality of the products that we present to the buying public. When you come in, we're going to give you some time to see what would be good for you today. It might be to try any of the 23 kinds of wine that we make right here. We're also going to show you that I have a beer case that has 88 kinds of imported beer. We're going to show you our non-smoking wine bar where you can sit down, no smoke, no big screen TV, and just enjoy fellowship and some good beverage. Along the eight mile corridor between Moscow, Idaho and Pullman, Washington, stop in for a visit at Wawai Canyon Winery. Our winery is a very um, European in terms of its style winery. My taste in wine leans towards something that's more expressive and we have a process flow that's designed around that. Our largest lot size is one barrel at a time. And then Christine, she takes those barrels and she blends them into a balanced, expressive wine. I kind of have this very fluid idea about wine as being like art. There has to be something provocative in it, it has to be balanced and expressive. When people come here, they're engaged in a visual level, they can see art shows, or they can listen to musical events and they can taste the wine and experience that. In downtown Pullman, Mary Cellars is another established and growing winery. Mary Sellers was founded in 2004. It's a family-owned winery and the first winery here in Pullman. 
been a lifelong wine drinker and connoisseur, and now I had the opportunity to really dig into it with both my hands and truly trying to find berries and vineyards and fruit and soil that match my passion and my flavor and my goal. We make 100% Carmen Air. We offer Mavedra Syrah, Gewurztraminer, Semillon, and of course our signature wine, Crimson. We're presently located in the old post office building in downtown Pullman. This fall, we're gonna be moving into a new facility for production. It's gonna be state of the art, and we're going to be increasing production to about 3,600 cases. Moving from Pullman back down to the Lewiston-Clarkston Valley, there are two more stops to make in Clarkston, Washington. Riverport Brewing Company just opened in December of 2008 and already has a loyal following from locals and visitors. What we, what we sought out to do here was to give uh, our customers the experience that they were in a brewery. We're the driving force behind this and our wives came kicking and screaming along with us and we like to say that we're living our dream and it's their nightmare. Uh, my favorite beer that we make is our uh, Old Man River Oatmeal Stout. My favorite would be the Bach. I really like our Blonde Moment, the Red, the IPA, the Stout, <laughs> and all the others. <laughs> the more you can create what people like to make a good, fine, crisp beer, it becomes more of a passion to please people's palates. I think we're, in a way, we're doing a service that needs to be done here. The Salt Cellars, also in Clarkston, is the final stop of our tasting tour. Lynn and I met in uh, viticulture and enology classes with Walla Walla Community College. And we discovered we both shared a passion for growing grapes and making wine, and shared a vision of having our own winery and production facility here in Clarkston. And all our wines are made using traditional winemaking processes. We punch down by hand, we uh, hand sort the grapes going into the crusher stemmer, we uh, rack by hand, one barrel at a time. The entire process is done here from crushing and stemming to bottling. The great thing about coming to the tasting room to taste wine is that you get to taste everything before you buy it. And if you like good wine and great people, we do, and that's why it's fun to be here. Whether your tastes run to fine wines or fine ales, or both, the tasting opportunities along the Idaho-Washington border are not to be missed. For more information about any of these wineries or microbreweries, just visit their websites and enjoy the tastes the region has to offer.